Hi, I'm Nancy Rose Spector, and I was born with the Von Hippel-Lindau genetic mutation. Most of us call it VHL. I'm 32, and while I've had VHL for my entire life, as you do with genetic diseases, I was diagnosed in 2017, just over a month after my first brain surgery. VHL is associated with the appearance and growth of lesions, like tumors and cysts in up to 10 parts of the body. I'm gonna require a lot of tests and scans for the rest of my life. So currently my doctors at Moffitt are requesting that I get about five MRIs annually instead of the three that I'll be required given the best situation possible. I've had two brain surgeries so far. I've had a procedure on my retina for a retina tumor. And I have to have blood tests as often as I can make it up to Moffitt, basically. And they test my blood every time I get an MRI as well. I'm really fortunate in my circumstance because I've been connected with my Rare Disease Alliance, the VHLA, and with Moffitt Cancer Center, who is one of just a few hospitals in the world that really studies my disease and its connections with renal cell carcinoma. My first brain surgery was on my cerebellum in the back of my head. And that was before I knew that I had this disease. I have some balance issues these days and I use a cane to walk around. I had uh, temporal surgery. I don't know if you can see this, temporal surgery uh, for a tumor on my temporal lobe. That surgery went really well and I healed from it very quickly. But because we get very strained brain tumors, I had to have a piece of my temporal lobe removed. And my memory has suffered, but getting better every day. These days, I spend a lot of my time focusing on how to make access to healthcare in the country more reasonable for normal people. Because I recognize that I'm very lucky to have this rare disease because people care to study me. So I have a lot more access to medicine than many other normal people. Rare Disease Alliance has really helped me a lot feeling connected to anybody with my disease. Currently, I know one person in my county who has my disease. And he's both 30 years older than me, so our experiences are very different. Although he's a Paralympian, and that's very inspiring in its own way. I keep with me regularly um, my hope stone to remind me that things are constantly getting better, and we're constantly working on improving the access to medicine and our medical techniques, which really do give me hope that even when I'm in the hospital and scared of the next day, knowing that every, there are scientists all over the world that are working on making this disease something that can benefit all kinds of people. The reason they see me at a cancer hospital, even though I don't have cancer, is because they hope that by studying VHL, they can come up with cures for renal cell carcinoma, which affects way more people than VHL does. And that's inspiring in its own way and helps remind me why it matters that I keep working on my access and other people's access to help these doctors do the amazing work that they're doing.